As part of our breeding season health videos for our Dairy Harvest members, we now wish to go through how to record any scanning that may be taking place on farm at the moment or is about to take place. So before we log this information on ICBF, we would encourage you just to maybe give one quick look there to make sure that all your AI servers are up to speed on farm. These come in automatically if you're on an AI handheld technician's device service or in the DIY context, you may have to bring the any AI servers up to speed here on the record heat and AI screen. So that's the very first thing we point you towards is to make sure that the AI servers are already logged in the system here before you go ahead and record any potential scanning that has happened on farm or is about to happen on farm. So where do you find the scanning option? This is available under record events. Click on record pregnancy diagnosis. So here it displays the obviously the list of females in the herd, the AI service dates, their last bull used. So for the sake of this video, we will just enter in the scanning date of last Saturday. So in this first example, we will confirm the three main options here. Just to confirm, there's either the scanner will hopefully tell you the cow is in calf, potentially if she has twins or if she is empty. So the first option here, we identify that this particular cow was in calf. Her last service date was on the 5th of May, and that's projecting a number of days in calf of being 39 days. And hopefully that is telling with the information the scanner uh, has returned to you there. Save changes, and that is saved there now. As you can see, the next main option here is to perhaps identify the cow as not being in calf. So we will just record this particular cow as being empty. Select the empty option. Very simple, very straightforward. Save changes. Cows on calf. Cow is saved. So finally for the next option there, I will just to quickly demonstrate with you there at home, is to identify this particular cow as having twins. Again, the number of days in calf will hopefully be telling with the number, the number since the last serve. And hit save changes. And then finally, perhaps this is probably the most trickier one to negotiate, but I will now try and demonstrate. So in relation to this particular cow example, the scanner has confirmed that she's in calf, but we will just say the scanner has confirmed her number of days in calf as being 30 days. So no, this does not tally with the AI service date. So no, this must be a stock will serve. So in relation to this particular farmer, just one Angus bull on a farm, and you can see there, you can simply enter in the tag number of the bull and save it. So now, what is the benefit of doing all this? This will obviously affect the revise or update the expected calving dates that are posted to you there every January with the pocket notebooks. The, that information goes live onto the expected calving screen. Another useful feature here, just to point out to her plus members here as well, in case you've made any mistake, or you wish to re-enter information, you can simply click on the jumbo number here on the screen. A small pop-up screen will appear, giving you the option to delete if there's any mistakes or need to re-enter any information. So, so finally, we will now see the information logged on the expected calving screen. So again, we can go to the individual code that we recorded. Last pregnancy scan date is logged. Expected calving date is logged. So everything is, is should be right.